And we begin tonight with a story you'll only see right here on 13 Action News. A local tree trimmer speaking out for the very first time. He was left paralyzed after a freak accident a few weeks ago. 13 Action News reporter Carly Petrus has a story you'll only see here. Lee and Christian Matt Thiemann is currently staying here at this rehab center after spending several weeks in the hospital just down the street. He says he's having a hard time getting through this, but he's leaning on friends, family, even strangers during this difficult time. A freak accident. The speed of the log coming, it was just, there wasn't enough time to get out of the way and it was enough to smash me from head to toe to the ground. Matt Thiemann and his brother Tony were cutting down a tree in their mother's Toledo yard on December 16th when a dead limb fell and crushed Thiemann's body. I covered my head and it smashed right through my arm and busted everything up. With more than 20 years in the tree trimming business, Thiemann says this was never supposed to happen. I just remember that we were using rope, doing everything correctly, having it tied off. Now laying here in a rehab center paralyzed from the chest down, Thiemann says all he can do is just take it day by day. I'm uh, rolling with the punches and trying to find my way through. He believes the outpour of support from loved ones is helping him stay positive. His wife Amanda Thiemann taking on the role of two parents right now. So just certain things I need to take in perspective and not let it get out of perspective. Strangers even lending a hand. That's their prayer. A 13 Action News viewer donating his late wife's barely used electric wheelchair after seeing the original story about the accident. When I saw the article, it just, I, it had to go. It had to go to him. And although the road to recovery for Thiemann will be a long one. Changing a house into um, complete wheelchair accessible. He's choosing to take the high road. It sounds like you are looking forward to proving people wrong. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Thiemann's family says he'll be in this rehab center for at least five more weeks. They're hoping to hold a benefit in his honor in the coming future. Christian.